Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to this project video. Today is uh, Tuesday the 16th of April. It is my second day in the making of the Zipper Sweater Light by Petit Knit. I am coming to you from a very early morning doubling. It's about 6 o'clock. I really wanted to check in with you after this crazy day will commence. I have a full day of work starting in a couple of hours. If I'm good enough, I'm gonna go for a quick 5K run this morning. So just to get it done and then start working. And then I probably will have a couple of hours at lunchtime and tonight to continue this thing. So a couple of updates from last night. First of all, I think I finished the yoke, basically. Reading through the pattern, the yoke is knitted backward and forward. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, I wanted to knit, I started knitting the second size, which gives me a Boston circumference of 117 centimeters, plus 10 centi 20 centimeters, sorry, of positive ease. So I check my gauge, I'm bang on gauge, I think I need to go down a size. Now my bust is, as I said, 100 centimeters ish So do we want to have 30 centimeters of ease? I don't think so. I'm going down a size to the extra small, which is like the first size. And lucky enough for this first size, we have basically completed the yoke. And now it's a matter of joining this thing in the round, setting the sleeves apart and knitting the body. Now I'm very happy with how this knits up. It's all curling up, but I don't know if you can see this edge here, which if I understand correctly is where the zipper is gonna be installed, which is very interesting. Also, thanks so much for all your comments on yesterday's video about how to get a zipper. I think the consensus here is to go to a Averashio shop, a sewing shop and buy a zipper there. Uh, because they can advise better on the type of zipper and as well the color, which I didn't take into account. Anyway, super happy with this. I'm gonna crack on with uh, the body now and I will update you later on. So I'm back. It's now 12 o'clock. I have been uh, going for a run, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it. Um, knitting on, start working and I'm on my lunch break, finally. Which I am not taking, but I'm on my third cup of coffee. This is decaf. I can't endure a proper coffee anymore, unfortunately. But we get through a bit of knitting. Skipping lunch is always a good thing for knitting on. And uh, what we have done here, and probably you've seen in the little snippet of video that I just put up, we divided for the sleeves. So the body, the body, the yoke has been finished 
and the leaves has be, have been put on a little strand of waste yarn. And now I'm gonna knit through the piece of the body, the bust down there. So I'm going to try this on as this is a top down later on. Now the stitches are so few on the arm, underarm that I'm quite afraid of uh, snipping them. So the pattern asks you, of course, to put on waist yarn a few stitches for the sleeves and then cast on for the underarms, which is plain and simple. Now, as I mentioned this morning, I uh, decided to go down a size. So I'm knitting now the first size. Considering the 20 um, centimeters of a positive is that this pattern have considering this gauge, I decided as well to go even lower in size and uh, uh, do a raglan increase less, which gives us eight stitches less than the pattern is recommending for the smaller size. Now, uh, you know, if you watch my podcast, I do like a quite fitted um, jumper, especially if they are knitted in decay yarn. This is heavy. We are on our sixth ball and uh, we've done just the yoke. So, consideration here. A fitted garment in a heavier size would probably look better on me. Um, I know all body issues and all those things, uh, we spoke about that before. Um, I just don't like oversized garments, that's it. And the second consideration is uh, yarn chickening. As I said yesterday, I have 12 balls of this yarn. This is Pierre Gint DK yarn from Sunness. And I have already knitted up almost six balls, so give us <laughs> six balls to go. And I have about uh, 50 centimeters of the bust to knit and two sleeves. I have absolutely no idea if that will be enough. We may need, as we go on, we may need to buy some yarn here and as well the zipper part. Now, Looking at this is absolutely ginormous, already big, and it's a smaller size, less stitches than the recommended one. I am quite considering if this could have been better as a cardigan. So going down with the, the opening until the actual ribbing. I don't know, I'm toiling about this idea, but as I said once again, I started this project as a learning possibility for me to get uh, to install a zipper. And the pattern is actually really, really precise in telling you how to do this in the best way possible. So I'm going to stick to this at least and uh, we'll see what it brings us. A question I received in a couple of comments uh, from yesterday's video is if the pattern has good schematics. The pattern does not have any schematics at all. If I understand correctly, schematics you mean the measurement, uh, the graphic of the measurements. Uh, it doesn't have that. Um, I haven't seen that in other petite needs patterns that I have uh, tackled before. But having said that, it is really, really precise in every single step of the knitting. So, I mean, give it or take, I personally never look at the schematics per se. Uh, I look at stitch counts and gauge more than anything else. Anyway, I wanted just to say hi on my lunch break. I'm going, I'm going on with the knitting and uh, I'll catch up to you later on. Don't expect much, <laughs> to be honest, the afternoon is going to be extraordinarily busy and it's just stoking it in the round forever and ever and ever. I'm actually thinking of piling up a few videos in a couple of days rather than recording 
the very smidge progress that I will do today, but you never know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, it's the same day and it's now 7 o'clock in the evening and uh, for today I'm done. I had a very very long day and there wasn't uh, much knitting possibilities today unfortunately but yeah I just need to um, get out for a walk, go to get some groceries done and this is what we have today without losing any stitches. Perhaps from here, from the center, you can see the, what you call it, the progresses of today. So basically this, what, five centimeters of knitting. Now it's all of a matter of knitting the body. So it's gonna be just a long stockinet tube in the round forever and ever. I yet haven't uh, uh, tried it on, but I feel like this is gonna be big, very, very big. So we'll see how to deal with that when we get through a little bit at least. We only have those five centimeters at the underarms as well. So basically the opening of the zipper and the underarm uh, start at the same point so we will go uh, down for about what, 46 47 centimeters before starting the ribbing for the body but yeah i'm very tired i don't think there will be any knitting tonight on this i just want to get out uh, enjoy the last hour of sun if there's any i'm looking there because the wind is over there and there's still a little bit of sun and then uh, yeah that's it make some dinner watch a movie probably need a couple of rows but i don't know i have kind of a headache coming up so we'll see we'll see but if i do or get any progress is done on this i will update you probably um Tomorrow or the day after I'm going to the dentist tomorrow shouldn't be a big thing to be done I'm still if you have watched my podcast before you know how you uh, got through Quite a big surgery back. I don't know it's six months now So every few months I have a follow-up and it's just gonna be probably another follow-up. They are uh, taking some how do you call it, some cast of my under arch and then yeah that that's basically it. It's gonna be painful only on the wallet probably. But yeah I really hope you enjoyed this type of uh, shorter videos and uh, yeah let me know what you think about the work if you like it and if you like this type of videos and uh, if you have any recommendation for me to make them better please let me know and uh, i will see you in the next few days bye bye <music>